Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you how I made this Christmas Advent Matchbox calendar um, using the Heidi Swap Believe paper line and just some card and chipboard and embellishments. Um, very little materials needed for it, so it's a really nice project to do. This is actually for Kerry, um, for a swap that we're in together for a Christmas present. So I hope she likes it and also um, I'll show you how I went about making all the matchboxes but you could obviously just use normal matchboxes yourself and cover them with papers. I just made all of mine out of card and um, that's it. So I hope you enjoy and it's a fun project. It's really cute. And that's it. So the first step that I've done is I have these little mini matchbox. I just took it apart so I could work out the sizes and the scoring lines so I can make my ones. And so I've made, um, I then cut out and made 24 um, of my own boxes, the box and the sleeve. So I'm going to stack the 24 little matchboxes. You can see I've them here ready to go, the ones I've already made. Um, there's 23 here and this will be my 24th. So I'm going to stack these together like a little kind of a cube. And on top I'll have a bigger box for no day number 25 which will be um, a little gift. So I'm going to go and just finish making up this one, my 24th, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to stack um, the matchboxes. I just wanted to mention that for making these up, I used, for this section, when I made up the little drawer, um, I used glossy accents. And then when I'm making the little sleeve, I just added some of the high tack red um, double sided tape um, on one edge and made up them. So they're just the adhesives that I'm using. Okay, so I have my 24 mini match boxes made. And what I'm going to do now is decide how to stack um, the boxes. If you check out on um, Pinterest, if you search up uh, match box advent calendars, there's many ways of stacking the match boxes. But for my one that I'm making now, I'm going to stack them in um, threes, like this, and they'll go like that. So there'll be a little drawer coming out each side. The reason why I'm doing it, um, stacking them in threes, it means that you can um, add a nice decoration um, on the side where there's the three sides together. Um, that might not make much sense right now, but... Um, when I stick it all together, you'll be able to see what I mean. So um, I was just measuring um, the width of my shelves and they're going to be three and a half by three and a half inches. So I've cut out a four by four piece of chipboard for the bottom underneath all of them and also one that will sit on top. So what I'm going to do now is go and glue everything together. And then I think it'll make more sense of the shape and style of um, advent calendar that I'm making. So here is what my advent box is looking like now. I, you can see how I was saying I was going to stack the boxes in threes. And this just means that at the side, what I'm going to do next is I'll have a little space to um, embellish a nice section on each of the top and bottom on all four sides and the papers I've used to cover the chipboard and the little um, drawer fronts is a Heidi Swap Believe. It's a very cute paper line. I got it from Cards and Scraps and my drawer pulls are just made from matching uh, twine. The colours in this collection are black, white, red, green. So I just used green, red and black um, twine for the pulls. I just stapled them on using my Timbold's uh, Tiny Attacher. So that's the drawer section almost finished. 
Um, as I said, the next thing I'm going to do is just um, add these embellishment sections to the sides. Okay, so what good is an advent calendar without a little treat inside each of the drawers? So from Cards and Scraps again, I got the Nordic Christmas Embellishment Kit, which I'll show you now. This is just the box. This is what you get inside the box. So loads of Christmas embellishments and the colours are perfect with the Heidi Swap um, papers. So I'll use some of these in each drawer for a little treat for each day. And also I will use some for actually embellishing the project. So I'll get to use up all the goodies. Um, so you'll see that um, when I get them all set up. Okay, so I've decorated the little side panels and I just attached them to uh, my advent box. And I also um, numbered all the drawers for each day, just using some ordinary small silver numbers. And then you can see around the edges on the decorated pieces, I've added some of those embellishments from the kit. Totally sorry. And also just some um, cut parts from the paper collection. This is the last one. And then for the top, I made a little box just out of card. I'm trying to open this now with one hand. Okay. Like this. This opens like this. Okay, so this is the top. Um, I really love Heidi's Santa paper and there's one of the chipboard or the wood veneer Christmas trees from the kit and also roses and the resin rose. The 25 Christmas little tag is just from the cut apart sheet and also one of the little paper or the little clothespins from the embellishment kit. So I've just made the simple little box with white card to match up. And inside is where I'll put um, Carrie's little Christmas Day present. Um, I haven't added it in yet because I don't want her to see what her present is. But also, I'll just show you each little drawer pulls out. I'll try and pull it one hand. And has um, one of the little embellishments inside. So. That's it, that's the advent idea. Um, I hope you liked this. It was really fun to make and I hope Curry really likes it and all her little goodies inside. Um, that's all. So if you make one, let me know. I'd love to see it. And thanks for watching.